What explains the committed activism France has displayed in fighting terrorism with the United States? Well, I think basically two things. Uh, one, agreement on the issue uh, of terrorism and how to fight it. Um, uh, in spite of the uh, clash of 2003 uh, over Iraq, uh, the French and the, and the Americans uh, quickly um, uh, found that they were in agreement with that threat, uh, all the more so after France itself was badly struck uh, in 2015 and 2016. And the second reason, I think, is uh, basically to try to avoid a precipitate a U.S. withdrawal from uh, the Middle East and the periphery of Europe uh, by, in its essence, uh, engaging in, in the game of burden sharing with the U.S., uh, being active, uh, showing the U.S. that the Europeans were not uh, free riders, uh, the French hoped would um, induce the Americans to remain committed to European security. You mentioned that fears over the possibility of a Le Pen election were exaggerated. Could you explain why these concerns were overblown? Well, basically, uh, first of all, the internal situation of France um, was, I think, uh, dissimilar with that of the UK or the US. Uh, take, for example, uh, inequalities. Uh, they do exist, of course, in France, but they're much, much less widespread. And I think this makes for a different electoral mix than in the UK or, or the US. But most of all, I think the European factor was key. Uh, that was the glue uh, that kept together uh, the, uh, the larger part of the French electorate uh, who was committed, who were committed to uh, remaining uh, within the EU and the, uh, and the European project. Uh, so the election basically was a referendum on Europe. Um, and the French voted yes. What kind of balance does Emmanuel Macron need to strike in regards to France's relationship with the United States? Oh. Well, I think on the one hand, he has a chance to be a very strong and close partner to President Trump uh, because of the shared agenda of fighting terrorism, for example, uh, because of the fact that France is a strong military actor uh, that the U.S. can rely on uh, in some instances, and of course the reverse is even more true. Um, so Macron could be tempted to play that card, and he does play that card pretty well with Trump, uh, including when he invites him to the... Uh, Bastille Day Parade uh, last year. But on the other hand, he also has to recall, uh, to remember that he is a European uh, and that he shares values with other Europeans that not necessarily, do not necessarily coincide with Trump values. Um, and so he has to push, uh, the, uh, he has to defend the multilateral, multilateral agenda and the European agenda at the same time as establishing a close relationship with Trump.